Today, we're going to be proving Bernoulli's inequality. That is that for any natural number n and any real number r greater than negative 1, 1 plus r to the n is greater than or equal to 1 plus rn. So to do this one, we are going to do a proof by induction because we're taking a look at any natural number n, which means we can start at 0 and move our way up. So for the base case, what we need to do is we need to check that n equals 0 is true. So if we take 1 plus r to the 0, this should be greater than or equal to 1 plus r times 0. So 1 plus r to the 0 is just 1, and 1 plus 0 times r is just 1, so our base case holds. 1 is greater than or equal to 1. Now for the inductive hypothesis, we're going to say that n equals k is true, and what we want to do is we want to prove n equals k plus 1 is also true. So to do that, we're going to recognize that 1 plus r to the k plus 1, since we're replacing n with k plus 1, is just the same thing as 1 plus r to the k times 1 plus r. So we're going to separate this out, and why we do this is because we know a fact about 1 plus r to the k. We know that this one great right here is going to be greater than or equal to one plus r k. And that's by our I, that's by our inductive hypothesis when n equals k is true. We just substitute k into our original equation, and there we go. But we still have to deal with the one plus r. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna factor this out, and we're gonna expand it and see what happens. So we're gonna get one times one is one, one times r is r, r k times one is r k and rk times r is r squared times k. Okay, at this point, we might be a little bit confused as to what we want to do, because our end goal that we want is something like 1 plus r times k plus 1. This is what we want in the end. So how can we get there? Well, we're going to notice something about this r squared k. Uh, we don't have any r squareds in our final solution, so we don't really want to deal with this. But what do we know about this? We know something really trivial, and we know that r squared times k has to be at least 0 or greater. And that's because when we square r, it's going to be positive, and k in this case is going to be at least 0. So we can just remove it. And we can say that, well, we know that r squared k is greater than 0, then 1 plus r plus r times k at least has to be greater with the r squared k than just itself without r squared k. And now all we have to do is do some factoring, and we can get to our final step that that equals 1 plus r times k. So what that's saying in this case is that if we start with 1 times r to the k plus 1, it will be greater than or equal to 1 plus r times k plus 1. And if we do our substitution back in with n, our reduction hypothesis has been proven. And we can now claim that yes, for all natural numbers n and any real number greater than negative 1, 1 plus r to the n is greater than or equal to 1 plus rn.